Hey y'all, Uncle Bo here. Gonna do a little sugar roll test on some Uncle Dave's bees today. Give them a little heads up, let them know we're coming. Come on girls, it's summer, it's real hot. Summer's here. And they are a little feisty. Honey flow is starting to shut down off a little, a little bit. Let's see what we have here. No beetles. Oh, where's one? Let's we'll see what we can do. Let's get a little smoke. Let's see if we can get nice and calm. But well, we're going to do a sugar roll test uh, today, and uh, pretty simple. There's a couple different techniques of, of pulling it off, and it's real simple. And this is something we need to do constantly here coming up in the fall. If we have mites, it's, we're going to show up. If you don't treat, or they're either, if you don't treat, they're going to fail. I mean, if you don't want to treat them, you don't have to. This is something for. Uh, the of us that are trying to get a little bit of a production of, of honey. If you don't really interested in honey, you can go all natural with it, and uh, you'll lose hives, but um, about the same gain as treated. There's a couple different ways of uh, approaching pulling bees off of it. And what we want to do is is select bees that are on the brood comb. So we want to get find where that queen's been laying, and we want to find the youngest ones possible. So this is all eggs here. There's a little bit of brood here. So this is not a bad frame to get bees off of right here because it is all nurse bees. So that's what we're trying to find is the newest bees that have just come off that hatching. It's got a lot of larvae on here. Some eggs, so I'm not sure. I don't see the queen here. I'm gonna go for that next frame. Quite a few, quite a few bees here. A little, a little on the agitated side here. They're moving a little quick, but there's a couple different ways of, of pulling bees into the into it. We basically what we're trying to get is we need about a, a half a cup of bees, and uh, that'll end up being about three hundred, three to four hundred bees. And that's there's about a hundred bees per ounce is what we do. I like to just take a five gallon bucket, it's clear, take it. Give it a quick bang. I can almost pick up that frame instantly, put it right back in there. I've got a nice bucket full of bees. Take my half inch, my half scoop, scoop up my 300 bees, put it into a jar. Now it doesn't matter what size jar you have, a pint jar, quart jar, they're all about the same. Put them in there. I've got a little eighth inch hardware cloth on that top. That's real important. I've just taken a mason jar lid, cut out a circle of uh, eighth inch hardware cloth like around your screen bottom. Now basically you're supposed to should take a couple tablespoons of sugar, powder sugar, and mash it down in there. Don't worry, you're not gonna hurt the bees. You're just gonna give them a nice coating of sugar along with the mites. You end up with all these nice mites, these nice ghost bees. You can see them in there floating around. And we just want to kind of tumble it around a little bit and break loose all those mites that are on those the bodies on the abdomens of the bees. As the bees come up, we can let it sit for a second in the shade, and the bees will start cleaning off all those mites off their bodies. Then we'll actually let it sit for a minute or two, do another one minute roll, and they'll, you'll end up with even more, a greater number of mites in your count. Now the other technique that we can do would be take one of these frames of bees, see, pull out another frame,
Like I said, if you know your volume of bees, how many are in there, you can literally take your, your jar and pull it across the top of it. And as you pull it across the top of that frame of brood, those bees are going to fall in there. Just kind of draw it, lightly draw it backwards across there. And I'm going to end up with my half cup of bees. That's one more technique of getting them in the jar. Now we can just kind of shake it out, find out where we are on our roll count. It's looking pretty good. And I'm actually going to tumble them a little bit longer and let it set one more minute. Stick it in the shade. But at this point you'd be able to see uh, right where your mites are. Some people will actually take a little uh, Cool Whip or a white container, a little white bowl. You can actually, with some water in it, shake your powdered sugar into that. Any of the mites will lurace to the surface and the powdered sugar will dissolve in the water and drop to the bottom. So you'll see the little red mites floating on it. But I'm not seeing any mites here. So these are pretty hygienic. So this is so low on the mite roll count that we would actually probably want to take this queen and actually breed from her and start other colonies. This would be a good one because we know she's fairly hygienic in getting rid of any mites that they find on there, cleaning them out and hunting them down in any cells that are there before they can reproduce. We could take these ghost bees that are all nice and ghosted and just throw them back on top. They'll clean themselves off and go right back to work. Nice and easy, simple technique for doing a sugar roll.